Found. Found. Hi. We're here. Hey, hey everybody. How's it going? Uh, here are all the questions in case anybody wants to look at that. Welcome to Reverse the Verse uh, with the community team. Darren showing up. What's up? Can I show up? <laughs> no. Okay. You already have. have. You guys remember Alyssa? What's up, dudes? She, and ladies. She might have more to say this week. Maybe. <laughs> she always has the coolest hair. Ah, thanks. I mean, that's uh, all right. It's all right. It's pretty good, though. Yeah, it's pretty good. James, you're just always pretty. Makes mine so much better. Ben got a new shirt. I did get a new shirt. It's a good looking shirt. <laughs> Thank you. I like Where it. Where did you buy it? I don't know. <laughs> Here. I bought it for him. I was asking you. There you go. That's the, that's the true I answer. I was asking Alexis. <laughs> Looks comfy. It's very, yeah. Uh, Ben's a floral pattern type of guy. Mm -hmm. and it's like the Simpsons say, there's only two kinds of guys who can pull off a shirt like this. And I'm the big fat party animal. What's <laughs> <laughs> the other one? Blends? Probably. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the other one? Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> awkward silence. <laughs> How are you guys doing out there? Um, oh, we uh, we've had a pretty crazy week here, uh, as you have no doubt seen following the uh, FPS post, which is still not uh, quite there. But we will have it later today, along with the Star Fair, which we are uh, waiting on some concept art from uh, Mr. Chris Olivia, and so you know it's going to be good. Um, what else do we have today? Uh, subscribers got their flair this morning, um, so mm -hmm. go enjoy your fancy new space rock. The <laughs> first part of a collection of stars is the best space rock they could possibly yeah. get. I, I guarantee you it's cooler than it, that just made it sound. <laughs> it is top tier uh, space rock. The next, the next uh, iteration for that is, is cool too. Yeah. The next part of that series. Did you spell, spell flare correctly? How do you spell flare? We, we've gotten it now. A-I-R. A-I-R, yeah. That's how we spell A-R-E is the... It took us several months of everyone yelling at us in the comments, yeah. but we got it. We got yeah, it. and the difference is sneak peek, not sneak peek. Yep. <laughs> that one will never fit. <laughs> <laughs> um, How's everybody else doing? Good. Friday. Solid. Friday. You don't sound too excited. <laughs> <laughs> Fridays here aren't like Fridays anywhere else. <laughs> Fridays are the days you're going to be here the longest. Yeah. That's true. Not unusual for me. Yep. Especially this week. We have a lot of cool stuff, man. What the cool stuff. Yeah, we are. Uh, we're enjoying putting it together, and you guys will uh, like it when it's done. Um, we always say that, but it's usually true. The uh, the joke now is that the next pieces of subscriber flair are going to be uh, paper and scissors. <laughs> <laughs> well, crap. Sp we space to, paper, space plans. scissors. <laughs> I'd subscribe for space scissors. <laughs> well, the paper came to yeah, <laughs> the paper's from Terra Prime, the scissors, though, that's, that's redacted. We can't tell you where those are from yet. But so they are left-handed scissors. Mm -hmm. No, they're not. Well, see, with Grammy <laughs> hands, all we need to do is put rock, paper, and scissors into the wall, and then players can make their own game out of it. You just throw them at each other. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty funny. All right, well, can we talk about the Star Fair sale a little bit? Absolutely. Hold on. i got to get my post of notes. <laughs> Let's go. Starfare, woo! Um, by popular request, the Starfare is uh, going to be available later today. Um, I think people are just excited about transports because of the uh, all the work we did with the Hall series. Uh, we're going to be doing the Q and A the same way. Uh, we'll start a thread on the forums uh, after the sale goes live. Do Q and A on the Starfare over the next week. Uh, we're going to have the uh, the base Starfare. It's still the uh, same price as last time, which I believe was one ninety five. And we're doing the Starfire Gemini, which is the uh, military upgrade being developed by Foundry 42. Um, that will be a concept sale with LTI and all that. Um, and this is standard sales of usual insurance. The, uh, the Gemini has uh, LTI. Um, there's going to be, I believe the price is 240 for the Gemini. It, uh, it upgrades the thrusters, weapons, shields of the standard model in exchange for some of the cargo capacity, essentially. Uh, it's less maneuverable than the base model, too. More armor. Um, and you'll get all those details in a less Ben saying them kind of way in... Uh, well, but this is the way day. that they want it. 
That, that's that's the funny part about it. Um, okay, so I actually had a, a question from the forum from Germinator asking about if. Uh, hold on. I'm here. We formed like a perfect triangle to the back. Go ahead. I'll focus on toast. Yeah. Toast. Yeah. <laughs> center. It's a lot to live up to, toast. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so the question from Germinator was, um, the military ships that we're selling, are there going to be um, access restrictions to various like stations or planets that might not uh, get along so well with a military ship? It depends on the ship. Um, Starfare Gemini, we're thinking this is, it's, it's basically just a more robust Starfare. It makes sense that MISC would sell them to like mm -hmm. tanker operators in the frontier who would also want them. So this isn't one that sets off any red flags. Um, if you were to pick up, say, uh, lightning or something in the finished game, um, there would probably be a lot of places that would not want you to land with it because that would be similar to showing up at work in an F-22, um, which we frown on here. Um, but uh, yeah, so it, it'll, it'll vary depending on the ship. Um, and you know, a lot of it would be player reactions. If somebody shows there's been a military hornet in pirate space, I imagine there are a lot of pirates who are gonna look askance at him. And, uh, you guys. And the big question everybody has is the is the idea of um, upgrading your civilian starfarer to the military variant. Is that going to be possible? Yes, yes, that will. I'm here to hear, guys. <laughs> yeah. In most you can stop spamming that in chat now. <laughs> in, in most cases, you can just melt the other one and pick up the LTI starfarer Gemini. Uh, but we did we did just ask her to put in a, uh, a CCU for folks who might somehow have a starfarer in a weird package or who spent less money at an intersection. So. I know that five minutes ago. Yeah, I just he we, we, we literally had that discussion five minutes ago and we worked it, you know, we were, okay, wait a minute. We if, didn't uh, know five minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to CIG. <laughs> That's what you were. Things move People fast. People get for asking early. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that's what you get for bothering Chelsea. <laughs> yeah, the thing, the thing we forgot about was that the, the Starfire was cheaper the first time we offered it, so uh, uh, we are taking care of you guys too. It's funny. Uh, to answer Guy's question, he says, what ships will be available to concierge and subscribers during Gamescom? That is an ongoing conversation. And as we get closer and we have a more final list, it's possible we won't tell anybody until <laughs> the, until the event actually happens. Like I said, it's still in discussion. We're still pretty far away from Gamescom. There are a ton of moving parts for that. <laughs> yes. What is going on? Why are you guys all snickering? <laughs> that was a two. Listen, you girls. Scare the crap out of me. Lando, you made such a grand entrance. Hello! <laughs> I, was getting, I was getting turbulent to add the upgrade. Your chair is made out of my old keyboards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I got, we, we have two kinds of chairs here. Chairs with really good wheels, with really good bearings that roll very easily. And then my chair that has terrible wheels that requires far more effort to roll around than it does to just get up and walk. Wait, I thought we cleared all this up yesterday. Okay. Thank you for tuning into Star Citizen's Chair Talk, where you find out just what kind of chairs the developers are rolling around in. <laughs> Additionally, there are other chairs with the good wheels available that you can take and use for your own. Yeah, but this one fits my butt. Just a we have that, that is true that there is a key fat person <laughs> chair and a regular chair. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Toast, everybody wants a shout out from you too. Uh, hi. There you go. <laughs> Nailed it. Tell him to be good on the farm. Round of applause for Toast. <laughs> hey, this is my first in person in a couple of weeks. Uh, there is also another question about the final location for the Gamescom event. Also, still working on that. Um, I'm, I'm heading up all of that good stuff there. And as soon as I have something that is like, Sign sealed, delivered. We will let you guys know. I'm but sorry for the super vague answers. We're working on it. Well, the, the, our, our one is a uh, e work, right? Uh, yes. yes. And then stuff. Yeah, the, the thing the next day we are still. Yes. That's still in flux, but the yes. the one you guys uh, bought tickets for is at e work. We haven't updated the. RSVP ah. on the website yet, which is why I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. I think it's in the original post. So okay. Like, <laughs> it's out there. So listen to him. Uh, 
Will there be an active role for a fuel-specific career on board the Starfarer? Absolutely. I mean, the cool thing about the Starfarer compared to a normal transport is that it can actually go and uh, collect fuel and refine it to some degree. You know, you go to the uh, like a gas giant and you skim the surface and collect fuel, and you go out and offer it to uh, pilots who are dead in space. Uh, there'll be plenty for a uh, fuel person to do, um, and. One of the uh, concept images we're waiting for today, uh, which we specifically wanted for this, uh, is showing uh, what that might look like. So. Dun, dun, dun. so if you tune to the post when it comes out at midnight tonight or whenever, and that, that image isn't there, it means that I have murdered a concept artist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to help you. <laughs> oh, well, we've got some people back there. Lisa, how are you doing? Hey, I'm good. How's everything going on uh, the ship front? Oh, crank it along. Crank it along. Yeah. Right. We're starting um, Gage on the Herald soon. So Ooh. that's exciting. You heard it here first, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so probably everyone is asking me to do that for the thing for Ship Shape next week. I'm probably not going to do Drake Herald. You just be working on it. Probably not. <laughs> Next week on Ship Shape, I'm not going to do this. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> what we're not going to do. That's what we do. We like to we like, just say what we're not doing to you. Have enough, so you a lot of guess. people are asking about that, so I just want to let them know. Uh, you know, engage a little further along. I'll probably do some stuff on that. But, nice. Cool. You know, cool. Daniel was working on that for a while, wasn't he? <laughs> was what? Daniel was working on that for a while, wasn't he? He was, yeah. yeah. <sighs> We're definitely <laughs> not going to bump the citizen con date, and, and so because of a rugby match, I'm sorry. <laughs> the citizen con day is an yeah, important yeah. date. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let, let's face it. Every day in Manchester is some sort of <laughs> rugby match. Yeah. yeah. When was it last year again? October, October 10th. October 10th. Yeah. It's always, mm. always going to be October 10th. Yeah, it will always be that day. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, when we kicked off the campaign back in 2012. That was uh, the most staying awake day of my life. <laughs> uh, four days after I started. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can we talk about the FPS post? Because that's on the tip of everybody's tongue. Uh, right yes, now. the FPS post. Um, it is in the works. We are waiting for a couple more videos right now. Um, we got a bunch of uh, the art assets that Chris wanted added last night. James is uh, currently battling the uh, setting up a table gods to display <laughs> them correctly. Um, our CMS does some things amazingly well, um, some things not so well. Sometimes we break it. You, we break it frequently. Um, but there, there's going to be a lot of cool videos. Um, uh, you're you're going to see some of the mocap stuff in action. You're going to see uh, table turnarounds of all the characters to show how they've uh, evolved over the last uh, month and a half or so. Um, you're going to hear about the back end. We, we basically asked every studio for some sort of report on their FPS work. So you're going to hear about the audio from the UK, the back end stuff from Austin, character from us here in Santa Monica. Um, you can see the wep individual weapons from uh, Elphonic, all sorts of details in the game mode, uh, some of the stuff about the lore that's been added in for Seda Ball. It's, um, it's a monster. It's, it's basically the equivalent of the monthly report, but just for the FPS. Uh, and uh, lots of moving pieces, but they are finally sliding together. We will have it today, or I will murder a uh, not a concept artist this time. Uh, a I don't know a designer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and if you want a sneak peek, check out the very end after the credits of this week's Around the Verse. Yes, the uh, the heavy outlaw armor turntable was uh, one of the first ones we did for this post. Um, it's actually getting updated for the thing tomorrow. Also, um, there will be less Katy Perry parts, Aww. but um, you still mean, some. That was not Katy Perry. Cover Katy Perry. Yeah, that, that, just, <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, that Legally was not distinct Katy Perry. <laughs> Katy Perry. That was not Katy Perry. That was an amazing uh, rendition. <laughs> I saw a gift about me scaring you, James. You heard that? I saw it earlier, I just don't want to click on it. But if you guys want to feel like actual star citizen developers, please take that video <laughs> clip, strip the audio, and put uh, Katy Perry's California Girls over it, and then you will see the thing that popped up in our shotgun last week. 
which unfortunately we cannot share for you. I, I actually, I had seen that video before I knew it was going on the show. And I, 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 I don't was, know about it. And I was, uh, I, I was like, glancing through the comments, I had a chance to read, watch the whole video, and people were like, oh, that dancing was awesome. I was like, they didn't use that, did they? Oh my God. And I had to like, you know, rush to the, we were, the video. We made sure to take but, the uh, But these guys are on top of their game, so. Turns out there's a cottage industry for people who create license-free songs that sound <laughs> like Katy Perry, but aren't. And I found them. <laughs> it's like Ben always says, the Katy Perry parts of the Katy Perry movie are really good, though. It's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> that is true. That is journey. true. Speaking of Perrys, Marcus Perry from the forums asks... <laughs> oh, oh, nice! You are, the, you are new awesome. vice president of transitions. Yeah. Is there wow. going is there going to be an equivalent to free flight in Star Marine? A free Marine? No. Uh, what, 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 what were we calling free it? Fight free fight. Free fight. Run around with nobody else there. <laughs> Walk around the map and don't fight each other. I guess is the equivalent of free flight. <laughs> like the idea that you would be able to, yeah. to get a free trial, I guess. Like, like the, run, run around an FPS map with nobody to fight. Like, I thought that was called Battlefield. Oh! oh. <laughs> no, they didn't finish fired. that part. <laughs> As they can post, shots going right here. Uh, but they don't mean they don't mean empty arena. They mean like the weekend where it's free. Yeah. Oh no, they could choose. So there's free free flight mode, which is where you fly around and read yeah. matter. Just. I don't no, that's no, no, what no. They mean. Oh. They're asking like like how we do the fly free. Fly, oh, fly, fly free. Fly free. That's what it is. Yes. Uh, I so apologize. In the future, yeah, there will be like fight free weekends to let people sample it. Um, I think we have enough backers to uh, push the servers when we launch, so it, it won't be. You know, you uh, actual paying folks will get to play first. <laughs> oh, I, I, I want to say that I love Battlefield. I played Battlefield 1942 and Nazi. No one cares. <laughs> I feel like Battlefield's sad. Like, <laughs> don't be sad, Battlefield. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. Yeah. It's like you're making it up to it. Uh, about, uh, <laughs> about 10 years ago, I got asked to be part of a uh, Battlefield pitch. It was for the Wing Commander version of Battlefield. Mm -hmm. I think it was called Wing Commander Renegades, and uh, there was this producer DA who was pitching it, and his his log line for it was something like, "It's like Battlefield meets Grand Theft Auto in space." <laughs> I was like, "Oh, why? Why do you keep doing this to Wing Commander?" <laughs> Luckily, that never came out. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. A little part of Ben died that day. Oh, <laughs> meets Red Dead Redemption, where they're all riding space horses. <laughs> I love Red Dead. <laughs> Someone asked, is there a way to buy fish for my fish tank? <laughs> uh, we, I, we do offer a couple of fish in the pledge store, and there will be plenty of ways to collect your own fish without uh, giving us money in the actual game. So. There you go. Are you going to have a space fish ball? Quiet fish. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just call her fish <laughs> Hitler? <laughs> She's killed all those. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Here. Chelsea had like. Chelsea had a batch of like a billion fish, and she killed all but one. It wasn't intentional, though. She's like fish earthquake person or something. Just like fish battle them. The shrimp ate the fish. All I can think about. You kind of run a fish. She doesn't either. She kills them. They freak me out. No, like they freak me out. Like I don't go in the ocean, they freak me out. Oh, Lisa has a huge really? phobia of fish. It's not a phobia. Yeah, I'm not you scared. live by the ocean. I don't the think ocean. they're going to get me. Or, you know, I'm not, it's not like a fear. It's just like very creepy. I'm going to come up to your office dressed as the Gordon Fisherman. Well, as long as you don't wriggle like one and you don't like the bulgy oh. eyes, and they're fine. You, you must, must not have liked that no, Doctor Who Christmas special where there were fish that flew around. Oh, my God. I wouldn't be able to handle that. <laughs> I can't go into aquariums. So did you hate our April Fool's show, too? No, it was cartoony enough. The flying fish hell on Mario's okay. Well, so, I know what I'm going to be for Halloween this year. As long, as, again, as long as you don't do the wriggle. Oh no, i got to be a, a HP Lovecraft Deep One. Hey, it's not Halloween, you're going to just wriggle. I'm going to be like, oh, oh, oh. We're like so cute. Wait, we're like so cute. Oh god, the horror. My little, my little, my little. Okay, back to the questions at hand. Uh, <laughs> See, we, we went off on this like fish tangent and all I can yeah. think about is, uh, fuck, what's his name? Oh, Star Wars, um, oh, Qui-Gon underwater with that stupid thing. He's, he's swimming with a cape on. 
How is this possible? I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We watched Star Wars. I can't. I'm I'm still mad. I'm still mad. We made the questionable decision to all watch episode one yesterday, two days ago. Man, like, I haven't seen it since the beginning, like, since it first came out. And I was always like, no, it wasn't that bad. And I watched it, like, Monday or whatever. And I was like, I want to, I'm going to cry. Like, the movie's terrible. Like, straight up. I'm sorry. I'm not the first person to say this. I'm aware. But it's terrible. (laughs) And I hate that movie. There's someone said to do it. Use the force. (laughs) Use the force. It just, it just bugs me. It just bugged me so bad. All right. That movie sucked. Thank you. Thank you, baby (laughs) nerds. He was swimming in a cloak. Yes, but last week. (laughs) Uh, dog tag update. They still have not shipped. They're packed and awaiting shipment. Uh, they actually needed to ship the hats first because they were taking up a lot of space in the warehouse. If you go to our Instagram, you can see a picture of all the hats in a nice yes. box pile. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> I thought it was cool anyway. Hey, it's good social content, so there you go. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay, so, uh, I guess, let's see, what we else? Lost Lisa. I know, we kind of did. She took off. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Uh, the fish talk's I'm right here. No, nope. no, she's not gone. Camera. Out of frame, she's gone. She's, she's, she's gone from memory. But she died 10 years ago today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gerald Evans asked if there's going to be any update on uh, rovers, because uh, the guy that was in charge of designing those left for Star Wars. Oh, um, Speaking yes, of Star yeah. Wars. <laughs> you will see more rovers. Um, and in fact, you know, oh God. see one thing I have on my calendar right here for today. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, they need a Star here, Citizen bucket. Four o'clock. <laughs> We're meeting with the guy who did the rovers, so. There, there you go. go. Does it say 4 o'clock rover meeting? It's a 4, it says like four o'clock Hobbins meeting. Oh, <laughs> I'm there, man. I am ready. <sighs> Can we talk about a Hyper Vanguard Force a little bit? We've all had a chance to play it a little bit. Uh, uh, yes! Uh, here. Uh, <laughs> an alternate theory for why the FPS post didn't come out tomorrow is that Hyper Vanguard Force is available on staging and we all... A lot. I'm pretty sure I sell Chelsea. I sell Chelsea play Hyper Vanguard Force every time I came downstairs. <laughs> I remember we uh, we went to lunch and we took a long lunch yesterday, and we came back and she was still playing. <laughs> it's fun. And she leveled up a lot. Okay. Yeah. yeah, she cheated. <laughs> I have a really high score, and Turbulent got rid of it. Oh. oh. They don't want you to win the Vanguard. <laughs> How many levels are in Hyper Vanguard Force? Do we know? How many levels there are? Three. Three? <clears throat> there's three on normal mode, and there's three on hard mode. Yeah, and there's little achievements you can get for each mode. Uh, main 1000, we can't answer that question yet because it's still being created. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Sorry, kid. Well, the introduction of grabby hands uh, make it possible to do like uh, dice games and playing cards and things like that. Yeah, in fact, I think in uh, in Calyx's demo, you see uh, you see a coin flip, which would be part of that. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's designed to be able to pick up things and just throw things around, so a dice game isn't out of the question. Hmm? Earpong? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just glance up, and he's got the fire. Darian's a Puritan. Captain Toast. Oh, so funny. Let's see. Let's see. Finally, someone got it. Will there be a proximity chat for voice in the FPS module? I'm not sure. We would need a Travis for that. Yeah. Travis. Where is Travis? It was something that we talked about. Not at the moment. uh, Mainly because mobile communication would be so pervasive at that point and prevalent that proximity chat would be almost kind of superfluous because I mean no matter what I think people are going to have combination or coming communication beads in their collars on their ships so no matter what um, unless something's jamming a signal you'll still be able to talk like you're standing next to someone there you go not needed really <laughs> Wait, it, it, it has some it is something that's come up every now and then mm-hmm. um, and I think what brought up, I think it was Day Z or something like that, where when you're closer you get to someone, you can actually hear them talking. But mm-hmm. you're talking about a world that 
you know, being able to talk to someone up close is kind of part of the realism of the game. Whereas ours is sci-fi. We have interstellar communication. So yeah. if you can't talk to someone across the galaxy, or if you can talk to someone across the galaxy just as clearly, I don't think standing next to them can make much of a difference. Makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> some some comment just says Toast is standing. He is not. He actually is not standing. I'm kneeling in the chair. He is he is awkwardly like <laughs> He's awkward. <laughs> He's like kneeling in this chair, you guys. Just need to slide around the background. Thank God we showed that. I did that too. It's actually very comfortable. You guys sure wanted it to be more joke. relaxed this week, so here we go. <laughs> Toast in a chair. And now back to CIG chair chat. <laughs> Dude, they had those guys come in the other day with those new sample chairs that we could try out, mm -hmm. with like the arm pads and stuff. I, I saw them come back yesterday and take them away. Oh no. I was really sad. By the way, when we write the tell-all book, I think the single most dramatic internal company argument, the one that was most likely to rend this company in twain, is the uh, discussion between the three types of sample chairs for the new office. Oh my god, that was like an ordeal, wasn't it? <laughs> I wasn't even there for it, and I heard four stories. All I wanted was the arm padding. That's like my big thing, because I use my elbows all the time. All right. Yeah, I'm crouching lawyer hidden lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I use my elbows all the time. <laughs> for what? So I mean, other than like be attached to your arm. <laughs> You can tell Ben was thinking about that for a while. Like, he had it in his head and he's trying to, like, make sense of it. And he's like, no, there's no way this makes sense. I must bring this up. What do you use your elbows for? Tell us now in the Insta poll. Yeah. That's why it sounds so loud. That's why it sounds That's why it sounds like she's destroying all the keyboards. And why every concierge response is just. Face roll the keyboard. No. Toast is secretly Daredevil. <laughs> yeah, Toast is actually really good at uh, Daredeviling. Mm. Are we still planning to move to the Santa Monica branch the Santa Monica branch to a new office this year? Yes. 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 Can't happen Fall soon enough. Me? Oh Maybe. my gosh. Please. Please it's, and thank you. It's walking distance to we'll Riot's new offices. Mm -hmm. Oh, right across the street. It's right across the street. Oh, jeez. Yeah. If they have a better cafeteria, that's where we're Sneak in. would be like, come on, guys, just let us in. <laughs> eating? What's that? <laughs> hey, uh, what, what, what variant of the constellation was shown in the episode of Ship Shape this week? I'm sorry? What variant of it? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's the standard remodel. Okay, yeah, standard remodel, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Are they revamping all of the constellation's colors? Uh. Well, as you can see right now, they're all in white box and gray box stage. So, TBD. Um, I don't think it would be dramatic, if so. It would just be, you know, like stylistic using the same palette. Um, variants might in color changes, of course. The longer term answer is that you guys will be picking the color someday. Eventually. So. Oh. I want a purple so shirt. Sweet. <laughs> well, we actually, it made me happy because, like, when I was talking to Chris and Josh, the guys working on the constellation, getting them to send me some images. Um, I was like, you know, just type up whatever, you know, interesting stuff you're working on, whatever you've enjoyed about it. And I tried to put most of it in there, but one of the things that um, they said as well was that they really took fan feedback into mm -hmm. account when they were making their changes. <laughs> like I was talking about how the, the cockpit is more separated from the living area. That was something, um, someone wrote in a comment, you know, that's something I suggested on the forums. And like, yeah, it was. We, they watched the forums a lot to see what people wanted to see when they were making those changes. That's awesome. Yeah. That's, that's really cool to hear that it actually is an active feedback kind of yes. system. Yeah. Can you eject someone if they are sleeping in an escape pod? I hope if so. If you have an escape pod. That would be amazing. If you're mean. Like a stowaway? <laughs> uh, so there, there's been two questions I've seen repeatedly. The first one, we answered already, me and 1,000, which is, we don't have an answer for what the FPS controls are going to feel like yet, because Besides we're still awesome. working on it, but it's going to be great. And then the other question would be for Ms. Alexis is, are we going to be restocking the stores with more shirts and hoodies soon? Um, right now, Sandy and I are working on a uh, 
track jacket sort of hoodies. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So that will most likely be our next piece of clothing merchandise. Uh, we're also in the works with the coffee mug, so that should be available in the next few months. Um, and I would like to put together a uh, decal set for computer cases or cars. Or yes. Whatever stuff on. Hardware mods. Yeah. Thumbs up. So we've got some stuff coming up. Cool. I, would lo- I don't know if this is in the works. I love like a travel coffee mug. I have one with me at all times. That's what we're That's doing. What we're doing. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. good. <laughs> Uh, Confirmed. Star Medic, I have a giant list of all of the events that we want to do. We're still deciding which ones. There's some some main ones that we're for sure going to be at. Um, But PAX Australia is on the maybe list right now. There's no confirmation, and I can't say yes or no either way yet. Hmm. So I have things to say this week, but they're all non-answers. <laughs> say stuff. <so. laughs> hey, this is this the hangout. Let's whatever you want to say. Say it. Uh, so I'm doing stuff still. It's a okay. great amount of stuff. Um, so, uh, for those of you that aren't aware, like I started last week, yeah. right? Feels like longer than that. Um, I started last week, and my, my main responsibilities here are going to be working with Lisa and the production guys as like a go-between. To the community team to make sure that we're getting all of our assets on for sales on time we've got all of our stats ready to go this is a big goal of mine to make that process much smoother so everybody is happy mostly ben <laughs> um and then on top of that i'm going to be managing like all of the events uh stuff so the who what when where why how and how much um <laughs> So that's a big, complicated task, and it takes up a lot of my time. But and in between all of that, I've been playing tons of Arena Commander, which is freaking amazing. Oh, almost swear jar. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> you said freaking your games. Yes. Yeah. You have no idea how hard it is to communicate without cursing. <laughs> oh yeah. I do. One warning for you guys out there, because I know this will be a thread later in the day. Oh. Uh, Hyper Vanguard Force is controlled with the mouse. Uh, you fly your ship with the mouse. Not a commentary. Not intentional. It's just how you play the arcade game. You just wanted to stir that pot, didn't no, you? No, because I know it's. Really, it's I, I know it's going to come up. Hey Ben, because totally, you're against mouse people and you're against grotesque people. I am against oh, all people. You're against I, 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 you are the uh, guitar hero <laughs> faction. <laughs> Um, I had a second thing to say and I've forgotten what it is. So. Uh, we'll get back to that. Yeah, what are the things don't you like? like? <laughs> um, corn. I don't really like corn. Oh, I hate corn. I hate corn. Corn's great. No. Corn's just time. okay. Yeah, enjoy? we did. You did. I actually don't like corn either. What? You made like a mixed vegetable. It was mixed yeah. vegetables. Maybe it's a Maryland thing. I'm from the South. You gotta have the corn. Yeah, I like yeah. corn. Yeah. Corn on the cob, corn on corn, cream corn. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I can be friends with you anymore. Alyssa, I don't like corny. Man, either. no. I also don't support ethanol. Initiative. There's a barbecue place called Rudy's. I'm sure you guys have <laughs> eaten there if you're from sure. Texas. And they have cream corn. And, oh, my gosh. Ew. Just like just thinking about it right now, I'm like, okay, well, let's end this so that I can go eat now. Cause <laughs> <laughs> hey. On, a, on another food-related note, we're almost through the jar of Vegemite. So thank you to whoever sent it. No, you are. Yeah, I, no, no, not us. Uh, you are more. Vegemite. I didn't know that was from a fan. I was Please send more Vegemite. No, Vegemite. No. Do not. Do not send more no. Vegemite. Send more Vegemite no. and address no. it to no. me. No. Yeah. Yeah. Tim Tams are okay. We are out of Tim Tams. Well, they, they sent that Vegemite like shortly after I got here, which was more than a year ago. Ah! Shelf life ah. abbreviated cockroaches. We are fine. Yeah, I think it's salty enough to keep it stable. Yes, but seriously. I like got. I was like going to the kitchen in the morning. And toast was actually putting Vegemite on something. I was like, is this "Was like, it toast? Are you just messing with me?" It was English no. muffin. <laughs> <laughs> I was the um, first person I've seen in my life cool. actually use Vegemite. Hyper Vandal Force. Send Omaha to the. Uh, <laughs> What's up? To the folks who are asking about Hyper Vanguard Force <laughs> in the game. Yes, we would love to do that. It would be one of those, you know, everything's working great, and a programmer has a spare day. Yes. Uh, we, we have talked about having all the mini games in the game, so up in the air, but we want to do it uh, when time allows. Who provided mocap for the outlaw heavy dance move? That was me. No. Uh, that was the queen's bodyguard, wasn't it? Something like that. Yeah. Um, 
That's awesome. One of the uh, yeah, we, we we've hired a lot of uh, like. In fact, you'll you'll see some of this in the video later today. We have uh, you know ex-military folks who will you know, do the motions in the mocap scenes. Um, we, in fact, we may even have video of that particular turnaround being recorded. Um, so you'll see later today. Uh, not somebody you'd know. Not not a team member. Mm -hmm. uh, Oh, the other thing I wanted to say is um, shout out to Sandy, who is off uh, working on Squadron 42 right now. She's uh, made it to London and is, uh, yes, yeah, she's been sending, uh, let's see if it'll focus, sending photos from the set. Uh, Yay, mocap guy. We miss her here, but, uh, you know, she's, uh, she's finally getting to do something she really, really loves because of this job, and we're, we're just thrilled for her. She she has an interview to, to conduct today that we can't say who it's with, but it's really awesome. Chris Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> Expand, contract. The passage of the bicycle. It's like I'm seeing a lot of questions about ship upgrades and stuff. I don't know anything about that yet, guys, so sorry. No, all, all, we, all we really can confirm is the, the idea that they can upgrade to the military yeah. variant today. So. And yeah. I don't yeah. have, have any I'm sorry. Yeah. Just to kind of make it clear across the board, I mean, we're not intentionally not answering questions because we hate you. It's a lot of the Whoa, time whoa, whoa. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Okay. I'm not intentionally not answering questions because I love you all. These guys hate everything. Um, but we just don't have answers a lot of the time. So you guys are thinking in, like, these huge what-ifs and... We haven't really gotten quite there yet. We're working on core concepts, making everything perfect, polished, and beautiful. So once that is done, then we can go into all of these awesome tertiary things that will make everything so much better. So I love you. We're not ignoring you, but. <laughs> there's a lot of systems. Yeah, there's a lot of systems like we know we want to do, but we just haven't fleshed them out yet because yeah. they're pending getting other things where we want them to be. So, you know, we have things that are on a wish list or things we know we're going to do, but we just haven't flushed it out because, again, we want to make sure it works with all the stuff that we're currently working on. And something that can be imagined in a second can take months to implement. So. Yeah. And just to be clear, I don't love you. I just want to be friends. <laughs> I love a percentage of you. Um, <laughs> you said you were sure it's full of No, I, I don't hate anybody. You're all great. Yeah, you've threatened to murder people on the stream right. today. Oh, I want people here. Yes, I hate them. Yeah. I'm on Ben's murder squad. That's also, it's also in my job description to kneecap people when they're not listening. They're also blaming you, James, for the reason why we can't answer any questions. Blame it's James. <laughs> Somebody said that I'm not jaded yet. Like, <laughs> you guys don't know anything. <laughs> You're not contextually jaded. Yeah, that's that's how you go. yeah. I, believe me, I've got the jaded down. Can we uh, reiterate what the differences are going to be with the, the new Star G? Uh, people yes. Talking in the comments? Um, it has a size up on the engines. It has size up on three of the turret, the three man turrets. It has a <laughs> larger, and I believe it's a double shield. It. In exchange for that, it loses some cargo capacity, maneuverability, and speed. So it, it has more armor, too. So it's a clunkier, more well-protected Starfare that the military likes to use versus the kind of standard safe civilian one that's not as designed for extreme combat. When can we swap out the space toilet paper for three seashells? I'm no, there's, it's a sponge. It's a it's a just, roll of sponges, guys. We stand I'm pretty sure here. the three seashells thing is like copyright. I had to bait him. I had to bait him, you guys. All right. All right. Well, this, this three seashells right. thing. <laughs> that was Demolition Man. It was 1993. It's a great movie. We love it. But we're not giving you three seashells. It, it, it's a sponge. You have to reuse it. There's no running water. I'm sorry. Eat less corn. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, it's a sponge on a stick. This really is space world. I don't even know where to go from there, you guys. Four seashells? I don't know. Okay. I think it just goes to show you that science fiction oh. needs a second weird toilet concept. And <laughs> god damn it, we're the ones who are going to do it. That's why Star Citizen created the Starfarer Space Toilet Shower. 
and why we're proud of it. There's a Trojan horse. <laughs> With sponges. <laughs> oh, man. I don't like the fact that you have to reuse the sponge. <laughs> like, that's... <laughs> I think we can afford... Well, it's got two sides. Uh, yeah, okay, then we should get more. <laughs> You can poop twice. Um, no, those sponges have LTI. They're, they're going to last. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. so I'll see someone asking about uh, Reliant we'll variants. We'll give everyone. Uh, Reliant variants, we have some ideas for those, and we're going to get concept artists started on those next week. I believe we actually have a meeting with them today, this afternoon, to get him all ramped up for that. Um, people were asking for freelancer news. I don't have any exciting news, but we are working on it. It's looking cool. Um, one of the things I want to do with ShipShape, besides just show you cool stuff, which is you know exciting in its own right, is I, I plan to also sort of talk about some of our pipelines, what it takes to get from step A to step B. Um, Someone here, like when they were when they were asking me to do it, like said, "Oh, you can show them your schedule." I don't know about that because it might go pretty <laughs> far, you know. Really like, uh, I feel like that would just start fires. But yeah, um, for sure, I've already talked to our ship lead, Elwin, about maybe coming on the show and talking about having like post mortems for certain ships. So I, I kind of want to combine it, showing you work in progress, cool stuff, with giving you kind of an insight into different little areas of our development process. So when I come online like this and I say, hey, freelancers coming along, but we don't have anything super exciting to show that's new, mm -hmm. uh, you'll, you'll know why. <laughs> and you'll know what stage we're at and what we're sort of working on. Sorry. He's making fun of me. I'm like, he's 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 really gives <laughs> Lando gives everyone crap. I'm okay with it. I live with it. So. Uh, Probably uh, in the next few weeks, I kind of want to do a segment talking about um, a, a process or a pipeline, showing whole pictures, but not highlighting the ship so much as highlighting a stage or a process and showing, you know, work in progress stuff for that. So, yeah, yeah freelance is going cool, but nothing exciting to say right I'm now. I'm pretty sure that anything you say about ship shape, everybody's just gonna be like, yes. So here's the, oh, no, no. Uh, so here's here's the, the story. Here's the story behind ship shape. So I was uh, I took off on Monday because my little sister was graduating, and then this guy came up to me on Tuesday and he's like, "Do you want to do this segment? And can you do it today?" And I was like, "Okay, okay." I'm still catching up on stuff. So I came back later that day and I was like, "Here are my conditions. We film it tomorrow, and I get to call it Ship Shape because that name entertains me." <laughs> that, that part and they was said, a "Done." No, no, I, I, I was a little upset about Ship Shape. <laughs> Eventually, I. It needs to be. It needs to be a cheesy name or a pun, or else I'm not in. I like and all it. the green yeah. M and M's. Yep. Amen. It's got a yeah. great logo. It's got a great logo. Yeah. Yeah. That's the best logo. Oh my God! Name. I'm gonna go back to the whole puns cracked me up. Whoa. I didn't know that you were guys were going to ask for them, and I just kind of like looked at Twitter one day, and it was like full of like whole stuff, and I was like, what happened? I feel like I asked for them was, too soon, though, glorious. because I thought that we were going to be putting it out like hours earlier, and so then, we all well, that. I know, I know, and so then I tweet this thing out asking yeah. for like whole puns to like ramp it up, and then it like kind of dies, and there's still really no awful. post going out, and I'm like, <gasps> But, uh, yeah, no, it was... <laughs> we all thought that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, chat impressed me greatly. 18 hours straight of non-stop hole puns is epic. Oh, my God, I know. You guys are good at that crap. Yeah. <sighs> are there two definitions of the word impressed? <laughs> <laughs> Will there be a contest with a ship shape of like, uh, Impressed? Impressed. <laughs> I know it's not going to be ship swearing with Lisa. Somebody was Ship's asking about uh, weapons added to Voyager Direct. Yeah, I think they were just asking that to anybody so they could get an answer. That's no. not my feel. Anything? Anybody? That's not New my, weapons? Not my stuff. Uh, bye bye. We don't have any in the immediate future. Um, we were doing. No, no, not right now. There, there will be more, but not, uh, not in the next few weeks. Cool. Uh, let's see. What are you guys doing this weekend? Hanging out. I'm going to Ren Fair. Movies. Again, <laughs> I actually wound up not going the last time, uh -oh. but yep, headed headed for Ren Fair for realsies this time, and going to buy a new computer desk, which is so freaking exciting. I don't know, you PC gamers will understand like how important a good computer desk is. So I'm actually super excited because that means I get to do cable management. <laughs> oh, yes, the whole D is the best shit for funds. I agree. <laughs> you have no idea. Con confirmed by uh, Reverse the Verse a couple weeks ago. Because <laughs> yes. we all want confirmed D. Yeah. Oh, yeah. D. I didn't have to say it again, but we did. That's <laughs> a three. Yeah. And now we have to close another forum. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs>
Uh, I'm gonna go do Mother's Day stuff. Mother's Day, Mother's Day right? Sunday, right? Uh, by the way, Happy Mother's Day to the mothers oh and the in the community. You're both shit. fine ladies. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, I think we came up with that one. We dropped it. Yeah. You were adamant about ship shape. I was. Holy ship! It's got like religious connotations. I don't want to go there. Yeah. True. How's a ship shape? It uh, like it mean like the word ship shape. Yeah. Regardless of my show, it means like in order. Yeah, you no, know, it's, like, it's a great it's title. Cool. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I, I really like it. I like I like holy ship, but I like that ship shape is on like three levels, and it's, it's good. like super cheap. Well, yeah, and it's it rolls off the tongue and people remember it, and I like it. It's pretty cool. Good marketing. Yeah. My roommate lands in LA in like 30 minutes. I'm really excited. Where, where was she? Uh, he oh. came from Austin. I knew him from uh, from college, and yeah. he's moving out here to live with me and start his career now, too. So it's pretty cool. Games? Uh, no, he has a film degree like I do. Oh, so. okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm really excited. So that's going to be my weekend. <laughs> nice. I'm moving. Hey! Are you going to even come play X-Wing with me? <laughs> oh, oh, oh! What okay, okay, I gotta... I guess I'll just move that out, out the way. way. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah! You're moving. Ben and I just bought a whole bunch of those X-Wing miniatures games. Way too many of them. Way too many of them. I got a paycheck, and I'm like, bye, paycheck! So we're going to play that on Saturday, and then on Sunday, I'm going to move and say hi to my mom. <laughs> Lando has something to say. Lando has something to say. Yeah, ask Toast. Uh, it, I'm, uh, I'm not Toast. That's <laughs> well, you look so similar. I don't, have, I don't have Darien's thumb. I can't point in all the Take that, Darien. Yeah, yeah so, so X-Wing Miniatures game. We got the William Falcon, we got the Rebel Transport, we got the Tantive, mm -hmm. and it'll, it'll be play Firestorm Armada. I got every variant of TIE Fighter on them. Is X Firestorm Armada Star Wars? The Star Wars Armada, we're going to play that yeah, soon, we're too. Gonna yeah, that. so we're getting started on that. I'm going to cry So, Lisa is not toast, confirmed. No. No. I want the stuff Lando TV. is on. Wonderful world. Diet brain. <laughs> That's diet. what he's oh, on Oh, yes. Right we're two weeks. We're two, two weeks, weeks of our diet. Yeah. Uh, I'm down three belt notches. Uh, That's so. awesome. Woo! Yes. I barely oh, remember what, what food was like. Uh, yeah. Did you do yeah. Space bar. Yeah. The screen went yeah. off. Uh, uh, ben, Alexis, and I all started a diet two weeks ago on Monday, and it's been an adventure. <laughs> but we're doing really well. I have a lot more energy. Woo! And a lot more anger, too. <laughs> That's unrelated. Well, it's maybe more. Really no, I know that's the reasons for anger. It's and totally well founded. It was so funny though because you came in here like last week and you were like, "I'm angry because of this diet." And we're like, "Okay, Ben, here we go." Uh, has Ben adopted Lando yet? No, but uh, Alexis, Ben, Toast, and I all live in the same apartment building now. Wait, really? Yep. Shh. Wow. Like so, so we're doing our own little like Melrose Place Chuck style thing. Chuck. It, it is like the apartment of Chuck because there's like a courtyard outside. Mm -hmm. It's great. I like it. I so. see madness in Lando's eyes. That's normal. I was there before the diet. <laughs> I know you'd Lando will like come over. Like, I can I borrow an Xbox controller? Can I borrow some yeah. for the Xbox controller? Yeah, about can I borrow that. an Xbox? Yeah. You have I'm, like, Xbox I'm, like, games? I'm like, hey, can I come over and borrow a controller? Because I haven't moved my controller yet. And they're like, sure, come on over. And they go, they pick up a controller. It's got dead batteries. It dies seven minutes later. I get to play seven minutes yeah. of Xbox. Ben, can you answer this question for me? Because I'm actually really interested in The wear and the tear system, do the uh, ship hull permanently lose condition over time, or can it be restored oh. to almost new state? It, so they do take wear over time, and they can be restored, just just like uh, people on a car or an actual spaceship or a dog or a bird. <laughs> a bird? You can restore a bird? I guess. You can have more feathers? I don't know. I don't know how birds Reminds work. Like Who does? Pokemon. You take a Pokemon. Da, 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 yes. da, da, and then they're all good. Yes. You uh, have gone up significantly for referencing Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> we are not. We are not prepared to announce when the Reliance sale is, but it's probably sooner than you think. And if it seems like the Reliance is getting close, you should put up your shields. <laughs> uh, I what? <laughs> that was a Star Trek Two joke. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. I put together my Star Trek Starships collection this week. It was good. 
Uh, the, uh, we answered that question earlier. The answer is yes, you can upgrade your regular Starfarer to the Gemini. Yes, uh, Terminate is working out the logistics for that as we speak. Star G? Yeah. So whether you bought the Starfarer at 175 or you bought it at 195 it will be the same cost to upgrade it to the Starfarer Gemini, should you choose to. There you go. Yes, and uh, in the future, when we accidentally forget to do something like that and it screws over early backers, it is not intentional. Just let us know and we'll fix it. Because, um, but don't be mean about it. Yeah, don't, don't, yeah, yeah, please don't, I, be, don't be mean about anything. Why is anybody a jerk about anything? We're working on the controllers. We'll get the CCUs. It, it, we care about the same stuff you do. Yeah, uh, Gosh I, I, darn it. Yeah, yeah. Pro yeah. tip, if you really want your post read and considered, and super mold over, don't be a jerk when you make it. It's that yeah. simple. We're all salty. He as also accepts F. bribes, so. He also accepts <laughs> bribes. Yeah. Omaha Seriously. steaks. <laughs> Seriously, it is a lot easier Vegemite. to read, but it's not. Omaha so steaks. Vegemite. Vegemite is a way not to get your question. No, no, no. By <laughs> me, I will answer real. any question you want if you send me Vegemite. Yeah. <sighs> That's a no guarantee on the accuracy of, of those answers, just answers? Yeah. Don't send Omaha steaks, I'm joking. Everybody, everybody is asking for more James. That would be funny. We do need more James. We need James, more James. Come do some James stuff. Say you adore something. Come, come be, come be Jamesy. Uh, I didn't watch Star Wars Episode Why? 2. Good. No, you talk all hey, day. James. I was going to watch Star Wars Episode 2 last night, no, but I decided good. not to because I could not get over how mad I, I'm still mad at Episode 1. It's been like five days. So then James. I thought, well, I'll start to watch uh, Arrow and Flash, and then I thought... No, I'll just go to bed. So, <laughs> I'm not watching anything. But I'll tell you what, I don't know if I'll ever get to watching Star Wars Episode 2 because it broke my heart. And we've been so excited. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we've been so excited about Star Wars around here and I was finally getting it. Like, I was finally getting, mm -hmm. like, the, the... Why don't you go ahead to New Hope? Just go I, that, But I don't want to. I want to watch all of it through. But it, like, kills me a little bit inside. Well, whatever you do, don't lose the will to live. I'm done. That's toast. That's yeah. good advice. Yeah. I don't think that was ever part of the equation, Toast. <laughs> uh, any news on Vanguard variants? We're going to have Gurmuk start concepting those very soon, I think, next week. So that's the news there. We don't even need to show you yet, but uh, Gurmuk's going to be working on those. And uh, in the case of both the Vanguard and the Reliant, we know what the variants are already. They've already been brain concept and we just have no. to Creepy toes. make them we just, yeah, we just have to make the actual pictures of them. We know what they're going to be. And no, we're not going to tell Four, you. So. They're also right. in my, my giant list of stuff that we need to assign and form out. And we have dates in mind. So we are actively working on all of the stuff that we're talking about. Someone was asking, what did, what did I say that we're concepting next week? Um, we have an outsourcer working on Reliant variants, and we have Gurmuk working on Vanguard variants. We I know what they're going to be, we just don't have the art yet. I've seen art come in on the uh, Starliner and the uh, the medical one recently. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, it's nothing close to final, but it's in the works. That's the final name, though. Medical, medical thing. one. Yeah, medical thing. Uh, Endeavor, is that right? Endeavor. Yeah. All right, so but so this is I something I want to talk about in Ship Shape too, like the different kinds of artists and stuff. Mm -hmm. Someone's saying um, you should focus more on ships you already have than like variants, and that's a good point. But generally, we have different kinds of resources working on like upgrading ships or working on the concepts, etc. So just bec you know, just because we have like three, uh, not confer like X number of people working on the concept art for the variants. That's not to say, oh, they could be over here. It's no, they're, that's what they do. We either have them doing variant concepts or we have them doing nothing, and we'd rather have them do that. Not, not every single artist is interchangeable. Uh, the Gemini cell is only limited by time, not by number. Yeah. No, uh, not by stock. Yeah. Uh, Roguru, you need to calm down, yo. Please stop yelling at us, or we will start ignoring you. We already you have. Right? You just did the exact opposite of ignoring him. No. Yeah. We answered his question, and now he feels validated. So. Mm. Yes, of course I can read the screen from all the way back here. <laughs> Contacts. <sighs> Lord. Uh, update. How do you picture artists working on chip models? It'll be fun. My answer, no. 
Confirmed no. Confirmed, confirmed not. Confirmed not. Star happening. Citizen confirmed not fun. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Lando was wrong. What was I wrong about? Everything. Life. Life. Lando was yeah. wrong. Everything. Literally everything you've ever wrong. told me. Uh, uh, you guys are funny. Uh, I think we already answered Lopako's question. Can we upgrade our old ship for a Starfarer and new upgrade system someday before the game is out? Uh huh. <laughs> we will just keep nodding our heads. Let's see. Yes. Uh, yes, for those well, joining us late, the Gemini comes with LTI. Yes. yes. But not the other one. Uh, the uh, non-Gemini. The Starfair. We got our E3 <laughs> badges this week. We did. Stoked. Yeah. Super stoked. I'm the only one who's stoked, but no one yeah. I'm excited. No I'm stoked. Stoked. Apparently no one cares except me. You know, I'm getting more stoked because I have more energy from this right. diet. Because yeah. like, now I can yeah, dude. eat yeah. three around. We're going to eat three around. Bend it around. Bend it around. Bend it around. <laughs> Bend it around at E3. There was like a good week where like, I'd say, what's going on? Like He'd just say nothing, now. just banning yeah. around. <laughs> Follow Ben <laughs> around. Just every day thing, yeah. <laughs> Will you be attending GDC? I don't think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not the person answering this, I don't think we usually have a presence there. We right? don't. I, There's we a did lot a, of individuals who go. Yeah. We, yeah. We did a recruiting time. booth one year. I was there. Yeah. Chelsea recruited. I was there, but that's Cyberhead. before I was How here. was it? Cyberheads, reach out to me. Keep going. We had a huge line of people waiting, and it was super popular. Got a lot of people that have never heard of us even. Mm -hmm. so. Awareness. And they all work here now. Yeah. So good job. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and by the way, I wasn't wrong. I said being a, if you want your feedback considered, don't be a jerk. Not You won't get your questions answered. You know, it's, it's not even one of those things. It's like, just don't be a jerk in life. Well, that's a good idea. Put a banner yeah, that says, like, Star... Well, not in an hour, it's too late. Does someone say you put up a banner that says uh, Starfire and Gemini on sale later? Yeah, for the next three minutes. Yeah. Someone now gave us that really good idea. Here, we'll do it, and we'll just amuse oh, yeah. everyone, and then it'll crash the thing. Wait, what are we doing? And the title, I think. you know, we're close to the end. It's just gonna, it's just gonna be fun yes, while you guys. No, keep it like that. While That's you guys. Hi, no. I'm T Text. <laughs> no, Star. <laughs> Star half a G. Star you guys having G. fun? How, Star, are are okay. you enjoying my my ability okay. to? Star uh, G. Right, we're getting there. Now I gotta change the layout. Okay. I gotta shrink. This is riveting. Well. <laughs> and backpedal, like correct. You. This is what they tune in for, guys. Cyberheads, reach out to me. <laughs> Boom! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did it. <laughs> what do you want it's, me to put now? It's, right it's not on sale. It's not on sale. This <laughs> is wrong. Lie, 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 lie. <laughs> this is an example yeah. of what we're not doing yes. right now. You waited for CIG to lie to you. Now it's happened. <laughs> You're done goofed. <laughs> Uh, people, people are asking how long until we see the updated Merlin and Constellation in the hangar. I don't have that answer for you yet, but you'll probably see the Merlin before the Constellation. <laughs> and the Constellation would be with uh, multi-crew whenever that is. Yeah, Constellation, I think right now we're in for multi-crew. <laughs> I don't know what they're saying is you, and that's fine. Hashtag blame Chelsea. That's way better. How did we lie? Ignore captions on our TV. The, the, the oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I thought we said something. No. Oh, that's oh, really funny. Nah, Chelsea did it. I don't know how, but it was definitely her. I'm excited. I'm kindly... So I've been here for a little over a month, so not that long. I'm really mm -hmm. excited. I'm at the point where I can actually answer questions now. I think there was... Not all of them, you know. I don't have everything memorized yet. But I remember the first time I came down here, people were asking all these questions, and I was like... I don't know any of these, so I'm just going to pretend like I'm reading. <laughs> and, uh, and and now I know a few of them. It makes me happy. There What's Chris Roberts' favorite color? Red. Thursday. I know our art director Lance's favorite color. Red. I actually Thursday. asked him that color, and I got such an artist answer. He was like, personally, my favorite color is blue, but professionally, my favorite color is chroma. <laughs> And I was like, what does that mean? And when someone like, answers a question to me like that, that's where I no longer ask that person questions. <laughs> yeah, that's a, no. that's a good way not to have another new hey. one. Hi. How are you doing? Good. There's a is a color. Yes. Good. Absolutely. Hello, oh, community. We Hello. So we're not going to show you guys this stuff yet, but this, guy's, uh, this guy, we had a tour come through yesterday, and he was showing him a bunch of cool, cool stuff that he's working on. You got to meet John Romero. Oh, we didn't talk about the tour. Yeah, we got yeah. to meet John Romero. Quick, you got, that was awesome. you got no time. You have Go. no time left, Ben. And actually, I sit right next to this guy, and I'm sitting there, like, you know, typing up emails and stuff. That's how I type up emails. 
<laughs> and and there's like this huge, like twice as big as this crowd just packed around his desk. And they're like, oh my God, ooh. Like literally the oohs and the ahs coming out. It was really cool because it was like, Normally when tours come through, they come in at off times where I'm like, I don't have anything cool to show, and finally one shows up, and I have something cool to show. I'm like, yes! <sighs> Cyberheads, reach Hello, out to oh. me. Hello, this guy, his name is Dan Kamensky. Uh, All right. Dan Kamensky. He's been interviewed. My roommate yeah. just landed. Oh, Kevin sent here. me a text message. He's R here. Yeah. I'm excited! Whee! Okay, now we've given you an extra minute, and we're gonna get out of here. But uh, All right. post later today. Yes. Today, later tonight, we, are, we we will be working hard, starting right now, to get those out. Uh, it's just a matter of getting the assets in. Uh, they will happen. And you guys should go over and check out Grackies or Grakies. I, I've never actually heard it being said before, but uh, he is going to be the Twitch streamer that is giving away a ship right after this broadcast. So go and check him out, and we're going to uh, feature him. Anybody else have anything cool to add? Nothing? I got cool skateboards. I just got a really cool email from Chris Olivia. Well, there you go. Ah. All right. Whatever now. Ben's like, I'm pulling out my phone. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs>